thing once more time so i just want to talk about the risk management thing so every signal that i send i say apply your risk management guys so what that does uh, what what uh, that mean is uh, when i say apply your risk management it's quite simple when I'm, say, I'm saying that, actually, we look at different things. Firstly, it can be the stop loss. Uh, please apply your stop loss. It can be uh, the lot size that you use. Apply very reasonable lot size. Don't trade like you're dying tomorrow. There's still so many days that we're going to trade. So don't kill your don't Don't blow your account. So... If you follow those things, they are very simple. But people, they don't want to lose. They just want to take, 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 take. But they don't want to lose something. And it's vice versa. Actually, when you make money, you have to uh, lose something. You see? You have to lose something uh, to make money. It means you're going to stick to that stop loss. Stick to that lot size. Mostly, I don't. I I prefer to use like the same lot size that I use for some time. Let's say maybe our stop loss is going to be here, so I know that okay. I just open with 0 0.10 around this area. If the market doesn't come, if it doesn't go in my favor, it means it's going to touch my stop loss, and I'm out most of the time. I on I won't even send the signal. Why? Because mostly when we lose. Uh, those things hit our emotions so whatever that we see on the market most of the time we want to revenge we just want to recover everything that we lost and the market doesn't work like that you should teach yourself not to go back to the trades when you lose or if you are applying your risk management you can look for a different pair maybe you can get something we know guys it's not easy we just try and force ourselves to do that. As human beings, our emotions, uh, they were made to get everything we want. We just want to get things easy. If something delays us, we feel like maybe that thing is taking longer. You lose patience and stuff like that. So apply your risk management means use that smaller lot size, a reasonable lot size. Uh, apply your SL. I see this every day. I don't mind about TP because it will be that even if you adjust your stop loss, it means you will be safer. Then another thing is maybe let's say per day I'm going to send 10 signals. Right? 10 signals. So those 10 signals, uh, it means that it doesn't mean that you should take every signal that I sent. Let's say maybe you took, we took a trade here, we made profit. We took the second one, we made profit. Maybe we took this one, we made profit. Then later on, I send another one. No, man. I hope maybe you reached your daily target, whatever that you will be. Uh, your, I don't know your goals or your targets, but I don't think if maybe we even two signals per day, if you make profit with that. I don't think maybe you should just stick around the group and waiting for another signal. No, I think that way, even if you're still applying your risk management, but somewhere, somehow the market can still hit our stop loss. It means you're reducing your profit that you made earlier. So if you may, you trade twice and you make profit on those both, I think you should just relax and do something. Do something because not every signal will be profitable. You see, so I don't have to uh, go tell people, don't open, close, do this, do that. If you made profit, it's your choice. That's why sometimes I say it's optional because maybe few trades that we took earlier, they were profitable. So when I say it's optional, sometimes I don't even take those trades. You see, so it means you should be satisfied. Most, most of us, we are not satisfied. We just want the market to re to hit our targets, which sometimes is another thing that makes people lose because mostly we know how to trade, but we don't we don't really make money. Why? Because we want the market to give us things that 
we want and the market doesn't work like that so just appreciate every cent that the market gives you i don't think the market owes you anything you the one who wanted to trade so if you lose it means you did you did something wrong or maybe just let's say it's a mistake you don't have to force to recover whatever that you lost within a day you see or let's say i was talking about maybe you made profit here you make profit here so you can ignore this ones wait for tomorrow tomorrow it's another day you made profit is fine you see we always lose why we take trade here maybe i make 50 dollars here then the second trade i make 70 dollars then the third trade hit my stop loss it means maybe hit this 50 percent it means 50 dollars it means now i'm back on 50. i just lost 50 dollars now you see so we go in back so our success rate actually it moves like this you go in up and down you don't have to go like that we understand that mostly to be successful processes like this but it should be like this it should go up you see this is an uptrend you'll be making some nice cash sometimes you're going to lose this is a loss this is a loss this is a loss but this one you recover whatever that you lost here going up not like this sometimes people go like this going down if you your, your, your success rate or your progress is going on a downtrend is fine but try to change that some people please guys try to follow me i've been in the game for some time just copy whatever that i do maybe for a week because most of us our minds or our brains sometimes they fool us you think that you know much but you know that you've been losing but you don't want to follow someone sometimes follow that person we know that when i say follow me i'm not saying we're not going to lose when i lose i don't send extra signals if, please guys don't ask me for any signal if i don't send any signal it doesn't mean that maybe i'm away from the charts i'm just trying to relax i'm trying to find some good stuff i'm always on the charts guys unless if i tell you that i'll be busy for that day but if not i'm always on the charts that's why most of the time when i send the signals mostly they are in profits it means i take time to send a signal sometimes yes we do send signal quickly because we don't want to miss the certain trade but don't come and ask me should i buy this should i sell this should i do that no you should wait for me to send the signal that is the problem that makes you to lose just because you just want to be in the trade the whole day if you hang around uh they say there's a quote when they say if you uh, hang around barber shop is the barber shop or hair saloon and uh, you'll soon you'll get a haircut it's something like that if you stick around the market the whole day you can make profit but you will you will also lose the market was created for you to lose so if you stick around that you're going to lose so please guys just follow me don't ask me whether to buy or sell relax relax guys you can still make money trading few pairs so that's why we wait for nice pairs it doesn't mean that because we trade everything we should trade take everything at once we wait for nice opportunities and take those ones you see so that is that is what i call risk management if i send signal earlier you are in a nice profit think twice I must uh, do i want to be in this trade if you are not you can just ignore that trade i'm not saying come tell me and say i'm ignoring no you, you can just keep quiet and others who take the uh, whatever they, they they take it's fine sometimes we have to miss other trades even if they make profit it's also fine you see so lot size don't over risk don't open so many positions without any reason some people they just open like multiple like multiple positions they don't know why they just do that maybe they see other people doing that but i do that because i split my lot size if i'm supposed to use like 0 0.50 i split that with 0 0.10 0 0.10 or smaller lot size why when i go into negative i can able to close them before they even hit my stop loss it means I can close three of them and I left with two of them. It means now I'm going to lose less. If I'm going if they're going up in my favor, it means I can close two. I take partial profits and I left the other ones. 
but if your plan is not like that is to hold them until they reach certain point so what's the point of opening multiple lot sizes without any reason i open multiple lot sizes because when they go down against me i can close some and leave only two or one if that doesn't come back obviously they can hit the stop loss but only one position hit the stop loss but it's not the full lot size that i was using at least i reduced the risk if they go up in my favor i'm repeating this if they go up in my favor it means i can close if maybe let's say it's 500 i can close 250 or 300 dollars then i leave 200 floating easy as that so i'm taking my partial profits quicker and easy so i don't have to go to close edit the lot size before i close no i just close those positions then i let the market run but if you just open multiple positions without any reason or you saw people on instagram yeah you are you are in danger don't just copy things that you don't understand use that one position uh, if if you want to up sometimes to make it in this game is to stay longer don't risk much find a nice broker which doesn't charge you much uh, some brokers uh, 0 0.01 uh, it's equals to or it's equi equivalent to one lot size which is not good so find a broker which have like maybe cash based indices uh, they the value is very low so they don't really charge much on those uh, cash based if maybe they call them uh, it's features or indices yeah something like that so they don't charge much on those but if you go to pure nasdaq 100 or us 30 it's where you're going to pay only small only small rejection you are like 50 percent down which is wrong so unless if maybe you have ten thousands and whatever then you can do that but i don't even use that so you should be smart guys uh just be smart just copy me don't there's no overnight success here Mm, I hope that way maybe you will understand. Yes, you will understand.